Welcome to American Honey and Honey Bear Studio, where creativity comes out to play. Part production space, part workshop. If it can be dreamt, it can be built. Welcome back to the studio. Today, we're going to spend some time in the workshop. You may not know this about me, but I am a guitarist by trade. I make music to make a living, and I have a fun guitar-related project lined up for today. I was on YouTube and I bumped into this guy from Italy. Over the last couple of years, he spent a lot of time locked down in his house, bored out of his mind with everything that's been going on, and he figured out you could take a regular old Bic pen, put rosin on it like you would for a cello or a violin, and play the guitar with it in between the strings. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. And it was actually really cool. And I figured if he could do this with a pen, maybe I could make something that worked even better. A big pen has these tiny little surfaces on it. And I thought if I made something with more surface area, maybe I could get a better sound. So let's head out to the workshop. I'm gonna make a guitar bow. I have this piece of scrap maple lumber. If you don't know about maple, it's a closed pour wood. So if you sand it good enough, it'll get glassy smooth. I also have this little walnut bow tie that's left over from a different project. I think it would make a pretty sweet handle. So let's see what happens here. It could be an epic fail or it could be something awesome. <laughs> Check this out. It's been about a week since I started this. I've just worked on it here and there. I literally have less than an hour into this, shaping the handle, sanding it all smooth. I did treat it with a cutting board wax just to bring out the beautiful walnut grain. I'll throw some pictures up here for you. I honestly have not tried this yet. I have my son's cello rosin here. I've never rosined anything in my life. A rosin I believe is tree sap. I could be wrong, or maybe it used to be tree sap and now we just manufacture something gooey. Uh, but I believe I'm just supposed to rub it on here. It's interesting. I'm gonna do all the sides. It doesn't feel any different. That's weird. Ooh, I hear some sound. Keep going. All right, that should be thoroughly rosined. See what happens. I'm gonna try it for the first time. Are you ready for this? It's making some sound, but not as much as I expected. I'm thinking maybe it's too wide. I have this awesome tabletop belt sander that I'm going to go sand this down on to make it thinner. And we're gonna see if thinner works better. All right, I'm going to do a few things. First, put on safety glasses. Secondly, I'm going to make it thinner. I think I gotta leave the handle as thick as it is because it's fun to hold right now. Make it thinner just with my belt sander here. And then I'm also just gonna take a regular piece of sandpaper and sand off any of that cutting board wax that I put on here. That was a stupid move, I think, because I think it is keeping the rosin from sticking to the, the bow portion. So I'm gonna do those two things, and then we're gonna have another go. We'll see if we can't make this work, because I'm really excited about this. So here we are, it is definitely more slender and I do think that the cutting board wax was part of the problem. I took that off with a piece of sandpaper, I'm going to get the rosin back out and see how this goes. Huh. I hope I don't get in trouble with my son's cello teacher for doing this. The rosin already doesn't look the same as it used to. <laughs> Oh, 
technique to it. At first I thought the harder I pushed, the better. But that's not necessarily the case here. Let's see here. <laughs> on the strings, that is helping too. but I heard some pretty convincing cello sounds. I'm calling this a success. I hope that you at least try this on your guitar with a pen. I think mine is better. It's more comfortable to hold. It's longer, I think that made it easier. And also, if it falls in the hole, it can't go all the way in because of the handle. That's pretty cool. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do that. I plan on making more awesome content into perpetuity. So I hope to see you next time. Thank <music> you.